Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. In Matthew 24, when Jesus' disciples asked him about the signs of his return, Jesus finishes by saying, Now learn the parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So, you too, when you see all these things, recognize that he is near, right at the door. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. There's three things we need to look at to better understand this. Number one, what does the fig tree represent? Number two, how long is a generation? And number three, what does Jesus mean when he says this generation? Let's start with the fig tree. Without going into too much detail, the fig tree was used in the Bible to represent Israel. And this parable was speaking about the time when Israel would become a nation. Most of us know that this happened in 1948. So the words of Jesus took almost 2,000 years to come true. Many laughed at the idea of desolate Israel becoming a nation and exporter to the world, yet here we are today. So on to number two. How long is a generation biblically? In this chart, the world looks at a generation at about 15 years. And biblically, you'd be surprised at how many ideas there are. Just doing a Google search will show you this. Wikipedia shows a biblical generation is 35 years. Other sites say 40 years. Others say 27 to 100 years. We have 40 to 70 years. And we could look at many others. Of course, a lot has to do with the context of the word generation being used. Psalm 90.10 says, As for the days of our life, they contain 70 years, or if due to strength, 80 years. And in Genesis 6.3, God said our days will be 120 years. So let's say the maximum a generation could possibly be is 120 years. We'll come back to this, but let's look at question number three and what Jesus meant when he said this generation. Some believe this generation was the generation when the apostles were with Jesus. But if that were true, then all the things mentioned would have had to happen in that general time. In Matthew 24, 14, Jesus said the gospel would be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all the nations, but that didn't happen and hasn't yet. In Matthew 24, 24, he said that false messiahs and false prophets would be performing great signs and wonders that could even deceive the elect. So that also didn't happen back then. In Matthew 24, 21, he said the world would undergo the worst tribulation that would ever happen. Once again, that hasn't been fulfilled. And in Matthew 24, 31, he said that he'd send out his angels to gather his elect. And that certainly didn't happen then and hasn't happened yet. So, when Jesus spoke of this generation, he wasn't referring to that present generation, but the future generation that would see the things he described. So now we go back to the parable of the fig tree. The generation that saw Israel become a nation is the generation he's speaking of. If we look at a generation as being 70 years, then we'd be incorrect. But if it was the 80 years mentioned in that verse, then we could be looking at 2028. And if we look at the extreme of 120 years, we'd be looking as far into the future as 2068. What we do know for sure is that nobody knows the day or hour of Christ's return. So anyone telling you a specific day is automatically wrong. But Jesus did give us the signs to look for, and I think most of us would agree that we're seeing many things unfold these days. But whenever his return is, the clock is ticking, and the time to preach the gospel is now, while we still can. I know we're going to see many opinions on this video, and that's fine. Just leave those in the comments below, and until next time, take care, and God bless.